everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to hashtag tagtastic, a challenge by Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. I think we're on episode four today. I want to say four. I'm starting to lose track. Um, it's the one where we make pockets. And... I will confess that my biggest challenge with this one was putting the front to the back, making it look coordinated. So I'm going to show you the ones I made already. Um, I did sew these because that was the challenge, but I did make um, some adjustments. Like for this one, I used... Um, the mat, the laminating sheets. I used mat in a three mil and I ran that through the laminator and that gives me this bit of a um, vellum look. There we go. Sorry. It's too early for this, I guess. Um, so for that, I did the vellum. Yeah. So what I did to get the shapes was I basically just traced tags on pieces of paper. Um, for this one I had a fall theme going so I just traced that and again I put the vellum in between and so I used music paper. Um, so this is what it looks like from the back. The reason is if you're sewing it you're going to sew your see-through material which is the center layer to your front layer so the pocket is in there so this is the first two layers and then this is the back of your tag so the pocket is in here at first I had trouble visualizing it so maybe that will help some of you and then this one I did a little different still I did the sewing the same. I made the music sheet together with the back. And then for the um, inside the shiny part, I used a laminated dried flower or pressed flower. So I thought that looked kind of neat. I haven't decorated them yet, but um, I thought I could do that either per project or very simply just put some lace and an eyelid in. I think it could be very simple because there's already a lot going on here. So, um, yeah, for the ones I'm making in this video, I won't be sewing them because I figure not everybody's going to want to sew or be able to sew. So I came up with a couple other ideas, one of which is hardware. And the other idea is hot glue. So let's see what we can come up with today. For my first backing, I'm going to trace a tag on here. And I'm just using pencil. So that's going to be my one backing. I'll make two tags. This will be the backing for one and then this will be the backing for the other. I'm going to try and make this video a little shorter. They've been going a little too long for my liking because I still need to edit them and that takes a long time. At least does does me. All right, so okay, that's the backing of one. That's the backing of the other. Then we need fronts. For one, I was thinking this, and then to cut the circle out or the oval, you could do a circle if you have a circle punch and you want to use that. You could. I thought that might be alright if you imagine that being a hole there and then I don't know that's almost too light for me 
basically this is what I'm talking about, putting the, the front and the back together. I found this piece of paper. I'm going to put this there. So I'm backing our I'm putting a front to my tag back so that it will show through the window. like so, and then I can do this for the top. So I'm going to trace this one next. Almost feel like I could cut many layers at the same time, but it's kind of hard to do when you're not sure what you're going to be using. Oops. All right. Oh, I'm noticing more people are watching my videos. That's probably, well, I know it's because it's the challenge. So welcome to those who are new to my channel. I appreciate you tuning in. Alright, so you just have to decide where you want your window to be. I'm trying to um, get mine kind of in the center. And if I'm neat about it, I can use the center for something else yet. This will be good for beginners who do not have a cutting machine to cut ovals out of things. This is the easy way for me to do it. Probably won't be perfect, but we can get pretty close. There, so I can use part of that for something else okay so i'm going to glue that and that together maybe i'll just use my ooh -hoo. One doesn't have to be perfect because it's the back and only the middle is going to show through the window anyways so like that and then we have to figure out why that's not oh because I didn't cut the bottom no worries it's not going to show I'm just going to trim it up here So I'm finding that these challenges are getting a little more fiddly and tricky. <laughs> maybe by intent, maybe not, but I'm going to keep going as long as I can. All right, so if you want to ink your window, now would be the time before you get it, uh, before you glue it down or attach it somehow. My oval is about three inches tall. 
case you're wondering about the size. A two inch would have been okay for some of these, but for the larger one, I thought the three inch was perfect. If you are sewing, you have to keep in mind to go, um, I don't know, make a wider tag or a skinnier window because it's going to be a little challenging at times to sew right on the edge there. But I managed, it wasn't very straight, but I did it. Okay, so yeah, three inches or Oh, sorry, three and a half inches long or wide. Okay. No wonder I'm running out of room here. So as you can see, that's not perfect. We can trim it up again a little later. So then I have to decide if I want a clear piece. And again, this is laminating paper. And this is the matte laminating sheet. And I think for this one I'll use the clear simply because the uh, background is not very dark. So that should show up nicely. Now, if I wanted to, this would maybe be a good time to use that. And if it was longer, I probably would because that would look really good in there. Um, what else? The things that I have laminated are probably not long enough for the tag, so. All right, so I'm just gonna, again, trace this. It's good if this is the full length of the tag so that um, your items don't get stuck when you go to put them in the pocket. So you could put something inside the window or you can decorate up the outside, however you want to do that. I really like it inside actually. Um, I had some fussy cuts that I was considering something like that. This would look better outside because it's so big. Let's see if I have anything smaller. <laughs> okay, let's see. Problem is putting it in the right spot. And that's the fiddly part. That would actually be quite nice. I think I'm going to do that. So right where the um, where it's sitting. Just going to put some glue in the back here. I don't think I need too much glue because the window and that's going to cover it. Oh, but again, this is going to be the back side of the pocket. So yes, you need to secure this down really well. I guess that's the one downside of putting this in. Uh, 
Yeah, because you don't want your items to get stuck and tear the inside. And two, I did not, um, I did not ink that. Oops. Oh well. It is the way it is. Alright, so there's that. And then lined up. Something like that. Now, remember I said I was going to not sew this one. So there's a couple different things you could try. Um, if you have good glue that will stick to plastic, you could go ahead and use that. Um, then I would attach these two together. I'm going to try it with my hot glue here in a second. Okay, I'm just going to try and do a very thin line of glue because um, let's see, the pocket opens on this side. But this is the front, so we're going to go ahead and just attach it to the whole thing. And try and smush that down so it's not too lumpy. I see that as being one of the drawbacks to this method. I've actually never tried to hot glue plastic before. I think that should actually work. There's a little... fuzz in there. Okay. Now my thing did move. I'll have to trim it after. Alright, so then since that did seem to work, I can go ahead and do the same with the back, leaving this section open. So, let's try this. a little fiddly in that you want it to line up and it is a little bumpy I'm sorry to say but there is your pocket so technically it works if the lumps of the glue are going to bother you, then I guess this would not be the greatest solution. Um, but hey, you know, you work with what you have, right? And too, I was thinking if you had just a small window you could maybe instead of using something like plastic um, some lace would work if you had wide enough lace or some like uh, tool something semi see-through but again you're left with the hot glue unless you can sew it in so, this just may not be for everybody, I guess. I know I had to be careful with my sewing machine doing my other, my first tags, because my machine does not like um, 
thick materials. So I had to, I already had to change needles the way it was. <laughs> and I thought I used really thin paper, so. So I got some shiny stuff on the edges sticking out. All right, so I'm going to ink this. Let's see. Still got more to cut off there. I probably prefer the matte laminating pouches because well, they're, they're not shiny. That's why they're matte. Yeah, I just don't like the shiny stuff showing. Okay, I'll try to stop messing with it now. Okay, so then we need a hole. we're going to put an eyelid in or something whatever if we put something on top I guess we'll need a hole okay so that's one then for the other one I'm going to leave that for the backing I think and then I'm going to use the vellum one. I think this project would be easier if you had a theme. Like for the ones that I made, one was a garden, one was a garden and music theme, one was fall and music one was summer so i had the ocean here and i had some um, paper for ocean so i think a theme is very helpful when you're putting those the back and the front together so for this one i don't have a theme but i have a color so what do I want for the front? And then do I want it on the inside or do I want it? To, uh, maybe I'll decorate the outside this time. So let's see. How about this for the front? I suppose. Let me decide on the um, the front before I decide what I'm going to fill it with because I just have this feeling that I might need to change my mind and I want to do this side of the paper. I'm just going to cheat.
If you had a good X-Acto knife, that would probably be better than the scissors, but mine's kind of wobbly. It doesn't really, I don't really trust it. Okay. Sorry guys. Usually when I make videos I like to um, plan things ahead of time. And I'm finding this is, this challenge is stretching me in that way because I'm not really um, able to do that very well for some reason. I thought I had the idea with the brads, but then I thought then it would leave an open pocket. So if I do brads at this point, it would just more be, I mean, yes, it would help it hold down, help hold it down, but not necessarily have like a great pocket but maybe we don't need it because it's not going to hold liquid right it's just going to hold um, paper so it might still work okay there's that then this Ink that. Okay, I know the hot glue will still be lumpy, but I'm only going to do one layer of it this time. So this is the one that gets it all around. Folder here and see if that helps. All right, that works. Okay, so then for this one, all right, so the way I'm going to do this. I mean, you could always hand sew if you wanted to as well. Sorry, I seem to be doing much trimming here. Okay, back. So then, I've got these tiny little brads. I was thinking maybe four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, this little hole punch should do. Oops, upside down. Well, I guess I'm doing six because I put a hole where I didn't want one.
That's okay. We'll work with that. And then we could, I mean, you could put more in just for decoration if you wanted to. And then it would make it look like it was supposed to be that way. Let's do that. Okay. So it'll be a few more than four. Oops. And what did I forget? Anybody tell me? Yeah, I forgot to put that in I'm not going to be able to match those up I don't think all right where's my all I need my all I used to do a lot of challenges when I was um, doing graphic design and then um, we would meet online to do like layout challenges and I did a lot of those. This is my first um, non-digital, I guess, scrapbooking challenge. If this is scrapbooking, I don't know. It kind of is all blending together these days. This could easily, junk journaling could easily incorporate scrapbooking. So he could have also used a stapler. Let's not, um, ignore the obvious and I, I it's not that I ignored it per se I I left it out on purpose because I wanted to give you other options and I think this will actually be quite pretty when it's done if you have tiny brads I mean if you had let's see what else could you use what else is there? Little eyelets would work as well. Probably would not put as many in. So yeah, you will have these um, eyelet or brads rather um, showing through the back. So I might want to put an extra back on, I guess, to cover that up. I know some people use washi tape. I just feel like there's a lot of them here, so I might want to do something different. I do like that. It reminds me of a treasure chest again. Maybe this would be a good one to put in the new journal I'm making. Which I confess I put away for this challenge. But I think this would be nice. 
Okay, so there's that. So you see, you have a working pocket. And I think that was the challenge. So I am going to just round a couple. No, I'm not going to round it like that because Um, you know, the brads. Okay, that's, that will work. All right, so then I have flowers here. What do I want to decorate the window? I have some more birds, let's see. I do like that one and because it's on the outside it could be a little bigger and I could cover up more of the window in fact that branch it could be kind of because of the way I attached it I could stick part of it inside like that I think the birds probably work the best. So let's stick with that idea. Too much background. Probably too large. How about this one? I already had it in my hand once. Maybe twice. Okay, that one. It's going to be that one. Unless it's going to be this one. Oh. Nope, I like this one. Okay. Yeah, this is... I'm not used to doing um, I'm not used to making so many decisions on camera so pardon me I'll probably have fast forwarded a lot of this Okay, some of this can go with this glue. Okay, close that before I spill them all. Okay, so that, and then, I don't know, do I want some like word strips or something? How about that? Love is kind. I think so. Something like that, and then wow, that was thick. Okay, I almost feel like I do need another backing piece for this, especially if we don't end up um, putting it on 
paper, like put, like gluing it down in the book. There we go. I could use this as the backing. Do that. All right, I'm going to try and put the glue on the outside of these. That's not really going to work, though. Okay, stop that. I imagine it's sticking before it's both two. Okay, that's not really the greatest idea. But I have glue all over the back of it now, so I guess that's how it's going to be. At least the pocket is still functioning. Okay, more ink. Now that I think it through though, having made it this way, the hot glue probably is the fastest. Next to the sewing. Well, I guess the hot glue is faster. The sewing wasn't bad. The one with the brads was the fiddliest. this one yet. That needs a word tag too, doesn't it? Okay, how about this one? Smile. Something like that. Yes, exactly that. All right, good enough. I still need something for the top of these. And I really am partial to putting the, the uh, decoration on the inside, but well, you got to try these things, right? Otherwise, how would you know? Okay, one of these I'm going to use there. And then I'm hoping I left enough room for a bow this time. Oh yeah. I feel really clumsy because I hurt my wrist 
a little ways back and I'm just, I don't know, it's really weak. So I apologize if that's coming across. I feel like it is because I can feel it so I think others might, must notice it too. Okay, so there, and then it's not perfect, but A little tassel never hurt anybody, right? Don't tassels kind of help make things better? I needed to hold the tassel down with some glue anyway, so I figured I may as well just Add this. A little butterfly. Like so. You can still use this as a pocket. Both are. And so. These are the two that we made today. And these then are the ones I sewed before I started filming today. That's what I did. I haven't decorated these yet, but I will do that when I go to use them. So anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me and uh, have a great day.